What are you waiting for? In the company that I worked for, we had an incredible program on promoting people internally. And it's how I went from an administrative assistant to the general manager of that organization. And inside that process, we had a practice that we called audition without risk. And what that meant was we would give employees who said that they wanted to grow, to have more responsibility, people that we saw potential in, we would give them projects or initiatives to really help them develop their leadership abilities, to really try new tasks on without the complete risk of failure. Their current jobs weren't at risk and it was really just this opportunity to audition for a new role without them always being aware of what was happening. I had hired an employee and I just saw so much potential in her. She was young, she was bright, she was eager, and she had big dreams for what she wanted in her career. And I was so excited to have her in this position because we were a startup and I knew that the opportunities would be endless. And she was in the position, she got trained, she caught on really quickly, and again, that potential was there. And yet every time I would sit down with her, she would say, I really want this title. I really want this pay. I really want to be further ahead. And I would say, great, that, that plan is available to you. It's, it's there and here, go do these things. And over and over and over again, she would basically be saying to me, well, when I have the title, when I'm at that salary, here's where I'll perform at that level. And I was so disappointed when she left that organization because she did not feel that there was the opportunities there for her. And it just wasn't true. There was countless opportunities, but she wasn't able to step into that role before she had the job title, before she had the salary. She was waiting for that so that she could step into the role. Think about this in your own life right now. Where are you maybe holding back? You're not performing at your best. You're waiting for something to be different so you can then give your all to that project, to that initiative, to that relationship. What are you waiting for right now? The truth is the way transformation occurs is we need to more than fill our current position. Wallace Waddles talks about this in his body of work where he says that we have to bring our best to our current place. And by bringing our best and more than filling our current role, that's when the universe starts to present other opportunities to us. When we're inside our current role and we're not bringing our full potential, we're not showing up as our best selves, we're not able to attract those new roles, those new opportunities to us. If you're desiring growth, if you're desiring expansion, really look at, am I bringing my best to everything that I'm currently doing? to my current relationships, to my current job, to what I know I could be doing with my health? Are you more than filling that current container? How do you go from where you are to where you want to be? Imagine being in that new role, being in that new relationship. How would you be showing up? How would you be going to work? How would you be interacting with your employees or your peers? Start showing up as that person in your current condition. And as you do that, that's when the doors will open for you. I'm really excited about a meditation that I've created for you to really help you embody the person you're becoming, really connecting to bringing in your full potential, your full power to your current position. Make sure you download that meditation, listen to it every day for the next week and notice how that starts to feel and notice how it helps you to begin to overfill your current position. Here is to you living a life you love.